Just minutes after 52-year-old Dr. Barnett Slepian and his wife returned home from synagogue, a sniper shot one bullet from a high-powered rifle into their home, killing the doctor. It was fatally shot through a kitchen window. It was a single shot apparently fired from a wooden area to the rear of the house. Also present, present at the residence when the shooting took place were uh, four boys, the couple's children, ages uh, 15, 13, 10, and 7. Authorities say the sniper was hiding in the family's backyard just waiting for the couple to return home. Neighbors say it was not unusual to see police cars outside the doctor's home, especially after receiving death threats. The killing comes just days after authorities warned abortion providers in the region about possible violence due to four earlier attacks that all happened within a few weeks of November 11th. We were aware, uh, we were informed, by, well, the doctors are informed, they have a network. Uh, they were informed, they faxed us information today. They've been taking precautions. Dr. Slepian, who's been the target of many protests, often told friends that he was determined not to let confrontations with protesters deter his work. Today, scores of law enforcement officials are searching for his killer. At this time, the town of Amherst Police Department's assisted in this homicide investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, the New York State Division of State Police, the Erie County Sheriff's Office, and uh, Canadian law enforcement authorities. Shock, outrage, and disbelief. Those are the emotions gripping this neighborhood today. Outrage. I don't think any of us are fearful for our lives. We are outraged that somebody would have the audacity and the gut just terrible gall to come in and do that to another human being. Family friend Jesse Parisi brought flowers to the shooting scene today, just one of many that came by to pay their respects. The, the weirdest thing is that I saw him yesterday around 6 o'clock, and I can't believe it. It's really weird. Meanwhile, investigators spent their day combing the area for clues. So uh, This time they're processing the crime scene and are uh, canvassing area residents for uh, any possible investigative leads. And as police continue to canvass the area, the impact of what happened last night continues to sink in on residents around here, like Dr. Monica Applewhite, a fellow OBGYN. We are basically all hurt by this. It's not just we as physicians, but it, it really hurts as an OBGYN person. But it will impact every single human being. Dr. Barnett Slepian wasn't just a doctor who performed abortions. He was a practicing OBGYN in Amherst. He was a doctor. That's what he did with his days. And then he went home and he was a good father because he talked about his children all the time. Dr. Slepian had four boys between the ages of 7 and 15. He made headlines in the 80s when pro-lifers targeted him for killing the unborn. December 1988. People versus Barnett Slepian. Dr. Slepian was charged with assault for smashing the windows of this van with a baseball bat. The van belonged to a group who staged a protest outside his home. That's the rough side his patients didn't know. He was a very caring doctor, very personal. Um, you weren't a number in the office. You got in, you were treated with utmost care. Dr. Slepian delivered her twins and saved one of the baby's lives. And he technically was her god and saved her. He even saved Kathy. I ran into problems myself in the recovery room and he was already home and he came right back to the hospital to take care of me as well. Ask anyone who knew the doctor and they'll say he was more concerned about life than death. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News, Amherst. Outrage. Outrage. I don't think any of us are fearful for our lives. We are outraged that somebody would have the audacity and the just terrible gall to come in and do that to another human being. It's a combination of shock and outrage that runs through this quiet suburban neighborhood tonight. In any neighborhood, you don't expect that in the sanctity of your home, regardless of what your beliefs, that some crazy is going to come in and destroy you. Some laid flowers in front of the home of Dr. Slepian. Others, like fellow OBGYN Dr. Monica Applewhite, remembered the man and his work. It really hurts as an OBGYN person, but it will impact every single human being. Meanwhile, investigators continue their probe, spending hours today combing the area for evidence. He was fatally shot 
through a kitchen window. It was a single shot apparently fired from a wooden area to the rear of the house. And the Amherst Police Department is far from alone on this case. The FBI, ATF, state police and Canadian authorities are involved. It's all because of its possible links to the attacks on four other abortion providers over the past four years. Three Canadian doctors and a doctor near Rochester have been shot at and injured. All of the attacks happening within weeks of November 11th. Veterans Day here, Remembrance Day in Canada. In fact, just days ago, the FBI and Canadian police put out a warning of possible violence to doctors in the Rochester area and Ontario because of that approaching date. They are looking at this uh, case, trying to draw any similarities, and uh, basically we're all pooling the information and resources we have.